Clarkson. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. Um, today's motion is on whether or not we have confidence in the government, and obviously I will be speaking in favour of that. To seek to upend that in a fit of petty spite just shows how irresponsible and deeply unfit the Leader of the Opposition is to lead. A man who should know better, a man who, as a lawyer, does know better, but a man who simply cannot do better. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is the mother of Parliament, not a sixth form debating society. They deliberately drive wedges between people over gender identity and trans rights and ignore the fact that their own equality minister resigned because he thought the government was creating a hostile environment for LGBT people, which is why he should be ashamed to defend this government. They promised. For He's doing a point of order, sorry. Point of order, Chris Clarkson. Wait, by the sorry. way, sorry. I do hope that this isn't. I, I really do feel it's quite bad if we have points of order that disrupt debates. The Honourable Gentleman has had a chance to, to speak. I'm not sure that he tried to intervene on the Honourable Gentleman, but go ahead with your point of order. The Honourable Gentleman just pointed at me and said, and that's why he should be ashamed. Is that in order? Uh, yeah, well, yes, if that's his opinion, um, then, 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 then he has said, he, 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 if he, did he try, did, did you try to intervene? No, he didn't. That would be the appropriate, that, that would be the appropriate thing to do. Chris? The Chair has said consistently about temperance of language to say that my right, my honourable friend from Haywood Middleton, as an LGBT man, should be ashamed to bend this government, I don't fit, fits within the ruling that the Chair is giving. Could you just clarify for the purpose of the House whether it's temperance of language? This is not a point of order. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. No, I don't have confidence in this government because they play, play fast and loose with numbers. They boast that they're recruiting 20. On Monday, the, uh, during the confidence debate, the Honourable Member for the Ronda, and I have notified him, and he has acknowledged uh, the notification, um, specifically mentioned my sexuality and told me that I should be ashamed um, to be supporting this government. Now, the Chair ruled that was an order, Madam Deputy Speaker, and I, I accept that. Can I ask your guidance on how we can uh, ensure that members are mindful of the consequences of the language they use in this chamber? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I appreciate that the honourable lady, uh, the honourable gentleman, is saying that the uh, that the incident um, was sparked by something that, a and all members should employ good temper and moderation at all times. of order, Mr Chris Bryant. Uh, thank you very much, Madam Deputy Speaker. You will realise that there was a point of order a little while ago um, from the Honourable Member for Hayward and Middleton. Now, he said that he had notified me in advance um, of the point of order in which he named me, as you know. Um, in actual fact, he sent me a, an email at 2.20 um, uh, in which he said, I wanted to make you aware that I intend to name you in the chamber today. He didn't say when when he perfectly well knew he was going to do it in about five minutes' time. I replied, when and in what context? I don't think that is a proper notification. He replied, the consequences of intemperate language in the chamber. Perfectly fair for him to raise a point of order, but he hadn't given me proper notice. I think you would agree. And the second point is, he said that I'd referred to his sexuality in the debate. I would never, ever do so, nor did I do so. As Hansard records, I did not do so. This is simply untrue. They deliberately drive wedges between people over gender identity and trans rights and ignore the fact that their own equality minister resigned because he thought the government was creating a hostile environment for LGBT people, which is why he should be ashamed to defend this government. I very much hope the honourable member will withdraw the allegation that he's made. Um, I certainly do think that there are problems about the way the government has created an, a hostile environment for LGBT people in this country. Um, I am, simply citing the, I am simply citing the Equalities Minister, who said so himself when he resigned. Yep. The Government Equalities Minister, who yep. said so when he resigned. I thank the Honourable Gentleman for his point of order. If the Honourable Gentleman for Haywood and Middleton um, has not...
properly given notice, then that is quite simply uh, wrong. I hope that the Honourable Gentleman will leave it with me to look further into this matter. Thank you.